Hi again everyone, this is Bev at Clarko Vision and this is a quick update video. I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible but there are no guarantees. <laughs> um, so um, it's just to show I've got four records that I've had come in uh, that I saw online for uh, decent prices and I was out yesterday wandering around uh, some of the charity shops uh, in a part of the town which I hadn't been to for a wee while I just thought I would go raking and see what there was um, and so I've got about, I don't know, seven CDs I picked up, six or so, seven I think um, no, yeah, six, I can't count right, but anyway um, but before all that, I have a cassette to show. So um, this is an addition to my Def Leppard Steve Clark uh, era collection. Um, and this is just another piece of the puzzle to fill in. So it's Animal Cassette Single. Um, now this is the Canadian cassette. Um, it's got an import sticker on the back, which obviously must have been imported for Canada at some stage, um, but it does say on the back, made in Canada down here. Uh, on, on side A you have Animal the Extended Version, slash I Want to Be Your Hero. Um, and on side B you have the standard version of Animal and Tear It Down. Um, and it's in beautiful condition. The case is immaculate for its age. Um, Black tape, so there's that's side B, side A. It's got made in Canada up here as well and printed into the plastic. Uh, and fairly straightforward inlay card, picture of the band from 87, early 87, I think, or maybe 86 even perhaps. Um, yeah, so. I was happy to get a hold of that just to put in there with the others. Um, uh, now the CDs that I spotted going around, let me just grab them on here. <coughs> I thought I would pick these up because they were £1.50 each. Um, now this band is a lot know about them. Um, I don't have anything of them and obviously because of the price I thought well I'll pick them up see what I think of them. I don't know if I'll keep them or not and it's The Darkness. This is Permission to Land. Um, yeah, um, the CD looks pretty decent condition. Um, it's on Atlantic it would appear. Um, and the CD, a quick look. Yeah, this one is in very good condition. Um, so for one pound fifty, I thought, right, okay. I have heard a couple of the songs off of here. Obviously, they were released as singles. Like you know, um, I believe in a thing called love was one of the the hits, uh, and I like the guitar sound. I must admit, a nice Gibson Les Paul sound they've got. Um, but you know, get your hand off my woman, Black Shock. Um, so I thought, well, I'll get it and see. Um, this one as well um, is also another album from The Darkness, again £1.50, One Way Ticket to Hell and Back. So this one, this is 2005, that one is, uh, this is 2003, this is 2005, um, I thought the cover on that was pretty cool actually. Um, Again, I'm not, I think I've heard English Country Garden, but I'm not really familiar with anything else on this one. Um, so the CD again is in decent condition, it's just needing a bit of a clean action, but it's pretty good. So the Darkness are a band that I've never really taken to properly for some reason, I don't know, there's something about them. Um, but on the other hand, you know, I thought that some of the songs that I did hear from them were pretty solid hard rock, you know, good, fun, enjoyable music. So I thought I'll give them a shot and see what I think. Um, I picked up also this. Um, this is a two, two CD box set. 
Patty Smith. Um, and the Patty Smith group. Now you've got the albums, um, two original albums. You've got Horses and Easter. And um, the track listing. You've got the famous, the probably the most famous because the night is on Easter. Um, I do like that song, I must admit. So um, because this was a very cheap press, I thought I will grab this. Um, now these are on the Arista label um, and this compilation was issued by Sony Music in 2012 um, and it says 20 bit digital mastering from the original master tapes 1996 so I don't know um, if these were remastered in 96 and this is from them tapes I'm guessing that's what that means but there is um, Horses and Easter and these are in they look near mint condition. They actually look like they've never been played. Um, there's not a mark on the undersides at all. But, you know, classic 70s. Um, kind of a, a little bit similar to Blondie, I guess, in a way, this band, I think. Um, so I thought, yeah, I'll pick that up because it was nice, cheap price for the set um, to have a listen to those. Uh, and the other two I spotted, which uh, is quite chuffed because um, I noticed right away they were on Frontiers and I thought, ah, Frontiers, um, good label for uh, some stuff. And um, so this is Harem Scarum and their album 13. I guess this is their 13th album perhaps. Um, and this came out in 2014. Now here I'm scared I'm, I'm not too familiar with. They were one of these bands that didn't really make it too big uh, in the UK. I don't think they were. I think they were bigger in Canada and Japan. They are a Canadian band. Um, and I think they came, they, they came around in about the late 80s and uh, possibly it was the timing thing, the, the musical scene changing and all that that maybe stopped them from becoming bigger I don't know but um so I thought I'll pick these up again because they were so cheap just uh, a couple of pounds and I thought well you know I might like them I might not I think they're just kind of you know hard rock um and yeah on the Frontiers label of course um so this uh, CD looks in pretty decent condition. I think it just needs a bit of a wipe. There's not much in the way of scratches. And this one, again, it's also here on Scarum. This is their latest album, I believe, um, titled uh, United. You can see it up there, perhaps. United. Um, see it on the back, probably a wee bit better. Again, Frontiers. This came out in 2017. This is their latest. Um, so I thought, hmm, I'll go with that. Um, interestingly, I've noticed on here um, it lists under additional music, additional musicians. It says uh, Jeff Scott Soto's in here, so I know he's a really good vocalist. Um, you've also got Jeff Dalio, Pete Nudek, and Alessandro Del Vecchio. Never heard of him, I must admit, but sounds kind of Italian. Um, so. I'm quite interested to listen to these guys and see what I missed out earlier on. Um, so that was the CDs and the records. Um, I went and picked this up because it was a nice price and great condition. Yeah, this is pop rock. Um, this is Starship and it's the 1989 album Love Among the Cannibals. Um, so this was after their big hits from the mid 80s. We built the city, this was after, nothing's gonna stop us now. Um, what's interesting about this album, if you are a fan of Def Leppard's Hysteria, um, the majority of this album was produced by, what's his name, Mike Shipley. Um, and uh, some of the songs, especially The Burn, um, and this one here didn't mean to stay all night. 
Is that right? One, two, three. Yeah, it's the fourth song on side one, um, which is a ballad. Now, number four, um, it says it was arranged by Robert John Mutt Lang. Obviously, he produced his stereo. Um, and it was produced by Mike Shipley, uh, mixed, etc. And I can tell you that that is so very much Def Leppard sound and it's unbelievable. But it's it's almost more of the Adrenalize than Hysteria. Almost. It's kind of like a, a in between the two, I think, especially with the vocals. The backing vocals are so processed that actually, I actually don't like that song. It just sounds a bit unnatural, to be honest. However, um, the first two, you know, the burn, the opening song is amazing. It is it could have been a Def Leppard B-side, basically, um, from the Hysteria sessions. Uh, John Vinylizer, you may like, you may quite enjoy that actually. But it's definitely worth um, checking out if you're um, a Hysteria fan, I would suggest. So yeah, I picked this up um, and it's in lovely condition um, in our sleeve. Lyrics. Uh, and it is on the RCA label. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna do is just move the CDs over so these can lie nicely. And um, then next one up, um back to final three are uh, new wave of British heavy metal. <laughs> um, this is Fist uh, and Turn the Hell On, I think. Is this their debut? I think it is. I think this is their debut. I'm not 100%. Um, but yeah, first turn the hell on. Um, it is on Neat Records slash MCA Records and it's, uh, da -da 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 -da. it's also available on cassette. And I think it's, I'm trying to look for the date here. I think it's 1980. Um, but it doesn't say on the back here. There's the Neat Records logo down here. It just came in a plain sleeve, but you will be able to see, hopefully there with any time, there's the, um, that's Fist's own logo and the Neat Records logo is here and you've got MCA Records and um, so yeah it's kind of all there and it is 1980 so I was right about that. That's a UK press this one. Interestingly enough this came from Poland. Um, I saw somebody in the UK advertising it and they were wanting quite a lot of money um, but I got this from Poland for half the price including shipping so and it's really good so um, I've not actually listened to this yet so um, I've heard a bit of it, but not much. So, um, next up, I was really chuffed to get. Finally, got a vinyl of Diamond Head. <laughs> I was really chuffed to get this. Um, obviously, I think most people will be aware of Diamond Head. Great band, very underrated, I think. And this is Borrowed Time, or is it Living on Borrowed Time? Um, it is a gatefold. And I think this was kind of like a compilation album which came out in uh, hang on, 1980, this has got 1982 down here. Um, so yeah, I think it was kind of a compilation of some of the tracks from their uh, first few, two or three albums. Um, and you've got In the Heat of the Night to Heaven from Hell, Call Me, Lightning to the Nations, Borrowed Time, Don't You Ever Leave Me, and Am I Evil. Uh, and it comes with the inner picture sleeve, which is cool, and it has British tour dates for this particular year. I guess it's 1982, and I'm looking at half of these venues are closed down now. They don't exist anymore. Glasgow's a poem. Newcastle City Hall, Manchester Apollo, Middlesbrough Town Hall, Ipswich Gaumont, Derby Assembly Rooms, Oxford Apollo. Um, yeah, and on this side you have 
what looks like lyrics for two of the songs just down here. Record itself has a custom label there. And on that side you have the track listings for both sides. So we really chuffed to get a hold of this. Um, it's the first diamond head I've ever owned actually to be honest. And I did get a bunch of CDRs from a friend a while back and that's all I've had up until now. So and last but not least, I saw this going very cheap as well and in beautiful condition. Original Press Darcy. Another Saxon album. Uh, yeah, Power and the Glory. And it's in wonderful condition. The spine's nice. And that's just the, the shine of the spine you're seeing there, actually. Uh, very nice and shiny. This one is 1983 EMI. I just had a plain in our, uh, this one. And it is on a nice black plain EMI label. So yeah, nineteen eighty three. So I was chuffed to get this and I've listened to half of this album. I've listened to side one and um it is definitely a lot heavier than the later ones I've got, especially the The sort of eight, 1985, 1986 one, you'll know the one, I mean, um, the devil's it's called, because it's going to annoy me. Uh, mm -hmm. Here we are. <sighs> Destiny. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot heavier than Destiny and a little bit heavier than... Um, Innocence is no excuse as well. Um, so there we have it. Um, so I was really happy to get a hold of this. I can't believe how beautiful it is. Uh, the record plays perfectly. So that's my quick update and it's, you know, 17 minutes. Well, at least it's under 20, so. Uh, and I'll catch you all in another video. Um, bye just now.